Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to install different versions of MySQL Server on same Windows machine. So let's go to machine where we would like to install different versions of MySQL. Here, I'm uh, in the Internet Explorer. I have a, a search for MySQL download, and uh, you will see MySQL website here: www.mysql.com. Downloads and click uh, here, and then you will be going to the different uh, uh, versions available uh, for downloading uh, i have done mysql community edition uh, so if you go there you will see mysql community server and then you further are going to go down uh, and you look for microsoft windows uh, you're going to go go to the download page uh, and then uh, you are going to download the complete uh, mysql uh, package here so that's uh, a little bigger size uh, than uh, the uh, web one so I have it downloaded. I'll click on download. It asks you for sign in and login. No, don't uh, do that. We don't have to. No thanks. And then it will start a download. So once I click here, it will say save the file. I already have downloaded the file, so don't I don't have to uh, download over. We are going to go back to the download file. And that's our download file. And I'm going to install uh, two versions of, uh, in this uh, demo. One of that will be 8.0 and then uh, one one of would be one of the old so let's go to the install and uh, here the installer is getting ready i have installed the uh, mysql uh, workbench already that's why one of this uh, you see that uh, uh, this installer you see there you're going to click on add and then you're going to say okay i accept the license hit next and here you will see a list of the available products so we have mysql servers and you can go to there you will see mysql 8.0 that's our uh, latest server available we can go ahead and start installation with this one and then come back and install the, the old version okay next It's going to take uh, maybe another 10-20 seconds. It's pretty quick uh, uh, installation. We could have done uh, the old version first. Doesn't really matter for me. Uh, but in your case, uh, I will show you how you find the old versions in this uh, uh, installer. Hit next. Hit next. We are going for a standalone. We are not building a cluster here. But if you need to build a cluster, you will be using sandbox in a DB cluster setup. Hit next. Okay, this is a development computer. This is a server uh, computer, or this is a dedicated computer. In my case, it's a dedicated because I'm only using for uh, MySQL. But uh, you can select whatever you want and read the description uh, here we have port 3306 that's the port and 3306 for x protocol port okay looks good to me and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and yes use strong password provide the password in my case i'm going to go and provide dba123 password and uh, if you want to add our user you can add a user right here um, so you will provide username let's say dba and uh, that dba user can connect from any in machine so i will use percent uh, from any host uh, and uh, it, it can have a db admin uh, password is again i'm going to provide dba123 that's not strong password though and hit ok so we created the user and that can connect to my uh, my sql sql by using a dba from any host on the network hit next and okay that's the name of the service mysql ad fine and i will say go ahead and uh, perform all the installation okay it should be quick uh, it's uh, initializing databases uh, so some system databases will be created uh, such as mysql performance and uh, uh, scheme in information schema okay so that's uh, done and uh, hit next and uh, if you want to see the logs like okay whatever the items you have selected during the installation uh, and uh, all those uh, logs for the installation you can uh, copy and uh, save it uh, i don't care about that part now um, 
we are done with the installation here I can, I can go ahead and open workbench and connect with the, the server we just installed so I'm gonna go and add a new connection here and I'm gonna call this one my SQL AD so that means 8.2 okay localhost and port is a 3306 fine root store in a wallet so I'm gonna save the password for root here and we will test connection it, it is connected hit ok now you will go ahead and open it and you will see the server running and here you will see the version of server is 8.0.13 next though, what you need to do we will go back to that the same uh, installation wizard you can close it here if you have done it but you will go back to file the download file right click install it will bring you the same wizard uh, for installation so go back to the add button why i'm getting all these ads here come on give me a break okay go to the add button here again and now you do not see the in the application you do not see my sql servers so you have to go to the edit and then you will look for all the uh, server softwares or you will look for my sql servers and if you say current ga it is not going to show you so if you see it is not showing you because we already have installed 8.0 so we are going to go back here and say select category my sql servers and here other releases so we will go to the filter and now it is showing you mysql servers now you can click on there and you can see other uh, different uh, releases if you try to install a second server of the same uh, version is not letting you do it so you can see that i have installed 8.0 already and uh, if i try to install over it is not letting me i have a video how you will uh, be able to do that so how you will install uh, the same version uh, uh, of my sql on the machine so watch that video in the list uh, and uh, here we will be installing different version so let's say we would like to go with the uh, 5.7 next okay now we'll do next okay product is a uh, 5.7 fine uh, pre -requ uh, requirements micro visuals uh, c++ uh, uh, that was uh, required let's execute okay go ahead and install it close hit next okay 5.7 uh, and that's what uh, we are ready to install if you go to the server uh, C drive right now and see what's happening there. So we go to the program files and here is my SQL folder and you see that uh, my SQL 8.0 that's one folder for the uh, 8.0 uh, version and then uh, another folder in the same directory is uh, for 5.7 so that's uh, where it is uh, created. Okay great now let's uh, go to the next ready to configure yes standalone yes we want to do a standalone okay this is a computer is a development dedicated or whatever I'm gonna call it dedicated the port is already used and I have already used the 3307 for another installation I was testing so I'm gonna go with the 3308 okay so fine um, your uh, DBA password sorry the password for the root uh, and I have put the DBA123 for myself. Okay, the name of the service will be MySQL57. So hit next, hit uh, next, execute. Now, if you go to the services, uh, you're gonna see multiple services. Uh. So you click anywhere and hit M. You can see the service 80, that's for 8.0. You will see service 57, that's 5 point, for the 5.0. And uh, this is MySQL, I have installed actually the same uh, 8.0 as a different service. So uh, if you wanna watch how to install multiple uh, instances of uh, 8.0 on the same machine, you can watch that video. So you know this one, and these are two services of different versions. Uh, so this is 8.0 and this is a 5.7. Uh, of uh, my SQL server we are installing and finish okay hit next 
wanna copy the logs no i don't care about that part okay and it's done now we have multiple versions of mysql server installed on the same machine let's go to the workbench and here we have a mysql ad and then we are going to add another one so hit on the home page and then click plus sign here and let's call it mysql 57 and uh, localhost because it is on the localhost and uh, the port is 338 3308 okay saves the password dba123 that was my password and the test connection we have connected fine hit ok and now we can open it double click on this and it will open and service status so on top of that here this see the tabs of service so you can change or switch between them so if you see 57 right here you can see that the version is a 5.7.24 log and uh, the data directory for this um, uh, installation and uh, for our other installation is on c program data my c sql and uh, then they have further folders so, so let me show you that part as well where the data directories are created so program files program data sorry and you have a mysql there and then you have a mysql server 8.0 here and that's where your data directory is so that's where your databases will be created um, and that's 5.7 data directory is right there okay great if uh, you want to see like uh, you are installing two different versions of uh, uh, mysql server on the same machine and you would like to have a data directory for each of them on a different disk you can do that uh, uh, during the installation it didn't give us that option uh, but you can change uh, one of the file called the my ini file that's the configuration file for uh, 5.7 or 8.0 you can change it and uh, move the data directory to new location uh, i have done a video how to change the location of a data directory for my sql server watch that if you need it thanks very much for watching this video and uh, i will see you guys in next video